Now, I know that that scared you. That's annoying, and I know that my sound literally just went crazy. It sounded like the world was ending. It sounds like an earthquake every time I peek at the sound or whatever. But I know that's scary, but there's another thing that you're probably afraid of too, and that's death. Oh my god, I'm scared of death. Oh, oh my god, I'm scared of things that haven't happened yet. Listen, you dumb fuck. Stop being afraid of something that hasn't happened yet. Everyone dies. That's the only number one guaranteed, 100% factual, scientific, sexual, uh, menstrual cycle. Anyways, uh, it's everything that has with the all. You know, that rhymes with all. Like uh, pupil. Anyways, uh, no, I'm just being stupid. But yeah, uh, you're going to die. And I'm going to die. And we're going to die. And we're going to die together. And maybe we could go to heaven uh, get with Tupac and Biggie and suck each suck both of their cocks off like in a gangbang scene. That's what I want to do personally. If I died and heaven was actually real because we know it's not and that's not actually going to happen. But if it was, I want to meet Biggie and Tupac and suck their dick at the same time while they discuss each other's beasts with each other. But anyways, so you shouldn't be afraid of death. You shouldn't be afraid of many things actually. There's a lot of people, you're afraid of things. You think of the past, you think of the future. You should be just in the present. Death is what it is. How I feel about death is obviously me talking to you, moving right now, being able to break dance the way I'm doing. You see that? You saw that? And then I go like this, and then I give you the dick. See, all of this is so weird. This whole world, this whole creation, I don't understand any of this crap. People like to tell you what they think, not what they know, but they act like it's what they know it's going to happen after you die. There's the Bible. There's all this garbage out there telling you what's going to happen. Well, guess what? Nobody knows. So stop pretending like you know. Now, if you say, hey, I think this, that makes sense. But when you start telling me exactly what's going to go happen, no, baby. I love when people are like, oh, I'm going to meet the, the, the creator, whatever that may be. And I hope I do good on this earth. I'm like, first of all, if you're thinking about doing good on this earth because you're trying to suck God's dick off, well, he's going to come in your mouth, but it's going to be poison so you die. Because in reality, if you're just a regular person that's good and you do whatever you want to do, I don't even know what good is anymore, but you just do whatever you do in your life, you actually have compassion, you try to help people naturally, then hey, what? I don't know, I mean, you don't have to worry about anything. I don't even know if that's how it works. For all I know, you could kill a school bus full of children and you could probably still hang out with God because I don't know about any of this stuff. Nobody knows what happens and stuff like that. I don't know. But if you're going to be like um, George Lucas and donate all your... Because I know he sold his company to Disney. And then he gave all his money to charity, which is great. But we all know why he did it. In his mind, he's like, damn, I've done a lot of horrible things. Let me give all this money, and I'm going to meet God. Thank you, God. But in reality, no, that's not how it works. But you can think it works that way. In reality, you should always just... Do... Oh, my... Okay, sorry. I'm just charging my headset to how unprofessional. In reality, you should just live your life. Stop thinking about dying and all that. It is a scary thing to not know what's going to happen. But in reality... Life is a scary thing in general, and when you die, you're just going to die. And that's it. And whatever happens, happens. The energy that's in my body is going to go somewhere else. It's going to travel to somewhere else. I'm literally unplugging my charger. It's going to go somewhere else, and that is what it is, because I wouldn't be moving right now. I'm like a computer. My computer, the only reason why it's running is because it's plugged into something. Something is plugged into me. I wish it was a butt plug. I don't even know where this is going, but for those of you that are scared of death, don't even think about it at all. If it happens, it happens, and you won't even, it'll be like going to sleep. Ew, I'm sleeping. Did you like my impression of sleeping or what? If you didn't like it, I'm going to slap you so hard that I'm going to put you to sleep. Exactly, baby. Uh, I don't know what the hell. Yeah, scared of death. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I used to be scared of all that stuff, but like I said. Anyways, and the only thing I could think of is here's my take on death. When you die, your, your whatever energy it is that's making me speak right now goes somewhere else. That's the best I can give you. And I'm probably 100% wrong about it. Because I'm not an idiot that thinks I know 
things beyond a realm that I have no capability of knowing about. Okay, you little, you fucking PhD Harvard University guys out there. Uh, whatever, all you little five head people out there that think you know exactly what's gonna happen when you die. You fucking don't. Get over it, baby. One thing I want to die is this shirt. And I'm not talking about dye it as in change it colors. I want it to dye because I'm not a metallic. Look at how stupid this shirt is. This shirt, but it's comfortable as hell. I'll tell you that much. I hate it, though. It's the worst shirt in the goddamn world. All right. Thank you for watching this. Uh, suck it. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate it. Thank you for not subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate it. Thank you for kissing me. I appreciate that, too. Thanks. I'm going to turn this off now. Next video, please. Thanks.